Understanding Overload Warning, a guide for English language learners. Hello everyone, today, we're diving into an interesting and very relevant phrase in English, overload warning. This term pops up in various contexts, from technology to everyday life, and understanding its nuances can be incredibly helpful. So, let's explore what it means, how to use it, and why it's important to know. Overload warning signals that a system, device, or person is taking on more than they can handle. It's a cautionary alert that indicates potential failure or breakdown if the current load isn't reduced or managed differently. Imagine trying to fill a cup with water, and you keep pouring even after it's full. An overload warning is like someone saying, stop pouring, or the water will spill over. Technology. In technology, overload warning might appear on your computer, smartphone, or any electronic device, indicating it's processing more data or running more applications than it can efficiently handle. It's a sign to close some programs or lighten the digital load to prevent crashes or damage. Work and life. In a work or life context, it can be a metaphorical way of indicating that someone is taking on too many tasks, responsibilities, or emotional burdens. It's a reminder to delegate, prioritize, or take a break to avoid burnout. Safety and engineering. In engineering or safety contexts, an overload warning alerts operators or users that a machine, bridge, or structure is bearing weight or stress beyond safe limits. It emphasizes the need for immediate action to prevent accidents or structural failures. Understanding this phrase is crucial because it helps you recognize limits, whether in devices, structures, or yourself. Knowing when to heed these warnings can prevent harm, improve efficiency, and maintain balance in various aspects of life and technology. We hope this exploration of the phrase, overload warning, has been enlightening. Recognizing and respecting these boundaries is key to safety, well-being, and effective management in both the digital and real worlds. Thanks for watching, and remember, awareness of your limits is the first step to managing them effectively. See you in the next video.